Good morning, everybody. Um, today is, I think it's day nine of our PB challenge. And so, yeah, we're going to get straight into it. Grab your cup of coffee. I've got mine over here. And let's get straight into it. So, um, I've got two tasks today. You can, you only need to do one of them. So, you've got option. A or B, oh, I've got another person just popping in. Morning, Megan. So we're just getting straight into it, honey. Um, yep, so I've got two tasks today. You can choose which one you'd like to do. Um, our first, first task that we'll do, oh, that I'll show you, option A, is um, we're going to do our... We're going to do a story in regards to our house, our family, our immune system, and what's currently going on in the country right now. As in New Zealand, we are on a three-day, at this point, lockdown. I would probably assume it'll be longer than that. So what I was thinking of, the um, one of the things that we've got to do is we've got to be awesome storytellers. <laughs> That's actually the secret. Um, in terms of attracting customers as being an awesome storyteller. And I was just thinking that a story that we could do would be on how we on how we boost our families, our immune system by flooding our bodies with over 30 varieties of fruits and veggies. And um, but using but the, I guess the best way to share that is by sharing our story that we already have. So we're on the product itself. We we are already building our immune system to fight, you know, like the common colds and flus. Personally, I haven't been sick with the cold or flu for a long time. I can't even remember the last time I did get sick. So um, with everything going on with lockdown and the COVID and stuff like that, I thought that would be a cool angle to to share our share our product, really and how it's working for us and how we have, um, if, if people wanted to try this for themselves, that we have these products for them to try. So I was thinking that could be an option A. You could do a product story on how it improves our immune system, our gut health and our heart health, et cetera, by flooding our bodies with all this goodness and that right now we probably need to do that more than ever right now. So there's one, hopefully that explains it very well. Gosh. Um, so that was one option. The other option, uh, option B, was maybe exploring something that a few of you may not have done yet, which is customer referrals. So what I mean by that is, is that um, we, have, we we rely heavily on um, referrals as well in terms of our business. I have gotten a few customers through this way and all I did was just reach out to my customers that I have already um, and just said to them, hey, look, if, if there's anybody that you know that may need um, or that you have in mind that you may need, you know, drop them a line in the DM and just get them to holler at me basically and the long and the short short of it all is that's what I just asked of my um of my customers so I did that last week I ended up having a chat with one of my customers and I said if there's anybody that you know We can't hear you. <laughs> we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Now, yeah. Oh, sorry. You were that. muted. <laughs> oh, I had a, I had a, my partner had called me during now. My little talk. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so if you missed that part, um, all I was just saying was was that um, 
I got in one of my customers to do a referral for me if they had anybody in mind that would benefit oh, of course everybody will benefit from this stuff but if they had anybody in mind um through discussions or whatever just get them to contact me and um I actually had one um last week my customer had um done that and she put her mother on <laughs> so it, it so it does work the referrals do work um I guess it's I guess people might need help with verbiage or they might just to make that initial uh, I guess put across that request if, if you're a little bit funny about it or you need help with verbiage um pop that in our um, messenger chat um, on the, um, I forgot what the name of the, I think that's the blow up your business Explode one. Explode your business. Explode your business, thank you. To put it in there so we can all help to create the verbiage for you in terms of making a referral if you haven't done one before. So basically, yep, that's our tasks for today. You can choose which one you'd like to do, option A or option B. Um, does everybody understand what the tasks are? Hopefully I explained that correctly. I'm really sorry if not. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, um, I have a question about um, option B. Yes, go um, for it. I have a customer whose order is sort of being dispatched in the process. Um, a while back before she jumped on though she um had already had someone in mind and and asked me she had seen a story of mine and she'd asked me to um if I could send her the images that I had used during the story so mm -hmm. she could send it to her friend however I attempted to sort of just get in, directly in contact with her friend mm -hmm. and she basically said something like um well I haven't I haven't talked to her so is my best option to to sort of obviously I'll revisit that um but is my best option to um try and just get the direct contact or should I try and do it through her okay so I would probably think just on the suggestion because you I would say send the images to the contact person and just ask the person, can you just ask your your lady or your your dude or whatever if they could if they could um messenger me on on a messenger or however you like to be contacted. Because uh, I'd really love to have this one-on-one -on -one conversation as well. Because obvious if it's somebody neutral that you already know, that would be easy. If it's someone that you've never met before they might be a little bit shy they might not be so forthcoming wanting yeah. to so you could say maybe maybe we could have a three-way call yeah me you and the other person because the referral middle person would be the icebreaker for both of you yeah um just so you guys can create common ground and stuff like that you'll have to establish a new connection with that person if ultimately I probably would suggest that more than anything because even though um she just wants the photos and the pictures and stuff like that that's cool to get to give it to the person so that they can have a bit of a I guess a look in terms of what your story was it must have been gold girl <laughs> <laughs> it was so it was it was, it was, one, but, <clears> it was know, about the berries you are wanting to create a, your own connection but because there is, so is it a mutual relation? Do you know this per person? No, I don't. No, and I and I did already mention. You know, maybe we could have a, a three way um, mm. chat via messenger. Um, but she she didn't seem to want to do that. She's like, oh, I. She doesn't even know that she's thinking of her. Do you know what I mean? So. Oh, okay. So I oh. feel like I feel like I oh, will. You know tell her that you have found something that you think might yeah. be interested and get her in contact with me absolutely because yeah, that would, would be would, much I easier to the friend at the moment because it may still be up in the air things aren't quite solidified yet for that person she's just thinking of her yeah just go ahead give her the photos but ultimately say if there is strong interest from this person once they do see some you know obviously that person had 
had been in her thoughts or whatever. And yep. so I would say go ahead and give the photos. But um, if she does seem to be interested, that's when you'll be, I, get, I, I mean, I would, I would rather, I would rather have a three-way um, chat group conversation with her later on down the track. But as for now, it's, it's creating that interest so okay. and that curiosity so even just say friend her on Facebook and follow her stories even that is enough because then they'll be able to personally um leave you messages on your story like oh my gosh that's so cool sorry this is a random mess you know a lot of that stuff happens every day <laughs> so yeah even go ahead and tell her to of course hopefully this is a rip you know where there's been a lot of um there's been a lot of people that have been creating fake accounts and stuff like that so keep yourself safe for one but um yeah it, even if that person adds you on Facebook so that they could see your stories that's also another strong way to connect with them and to build up that that presence with them because if they see your stories you can connect with them directly through that way as well yeah I think those are great I think man that, that's got that, that's really good girl you've done Obviously, it was strong. Your story was strong. Your your um, reels or whatever it was strong for her to um, see it and be like, "Oh, can you send me those?" Mm. So good on you, Megan. Thank you. <laughs> real cool, real cool. So it's up to you, honey. You and Dom, what you'd like to do, and everybody else at home that's watching the recordings after this, what you'd like to do. If you haven't done referrals before, I would strongly suggest to take up option b it's a good way to break down those cobwebs because <laughs> it can be quite daunting asking people for referrals you don't need to feel like you're being please just don't feel like you're being um you're not being desperate it's it's just one of, i mean it's one of those things that that we do human as human beings anyways we like to talk about the stuff that works best for us so we tend to talk with our girlfriends remember what we were like before we were on the product okay we were we were people that love to share stuff and we like to connect with other people and say hey girl did you try that new um or they'll be like oh what are you oh, oh you got to try this new moisturizing cream or you need to try this, that is so delicious, or it's so good, or it's working, that's a referral. We were naturally referring anyways. <laughs> yeah, so let's break that stigma of being a little bit, oh, because it seems desperate, that's bullshit. <laughs> it's actually, it's, it's being helpful for connecting and using another way to connect our product with people that need that, or probably need it. And because we love our product, we have a strong belief in our product, we know that it works, we're a product of that, why not? Um, yeah, so that's our session for today. I was turning my light off. That's our session for today. Two options. Option A, create a post um, with, with a strong storyline. Make it about you. Make it about your family. Um, a lot of people, they can, that's, that's one of the things that we do in terms of being in, not just an entrepreneur, but ambassador of, of our product is that we have, we connect with others through our story. So yeah, create our story, maybe use the lines around boosting your immune system and flooding your body with all this goodness. You don't have to worry about colds or flus and even more importantly, now that we're on lockdown, um, trying to trying to combat this Delta variant. And then option B is referral. So um, if you girls have any questions, we'll probably end the session. Don, do you have any questions, honey? You know, you mentioned about the reels. Yeah. Like, how do you do reels? Because, like, I, I, yeah, I just, or I haven't really used that function. And I'm like, how does it work? It, it sort of bugs me the whole, like, you just do it in little chunks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love reels. <laughs> I love reels because it's part of my, my target audience loves it. Okay. And I enjoy making it. It's usually about a 15 second video. And it's real quick. It's um, it's entertaining. It's informative. It's it's captivating. It's attention grabbing. Um, so reels are basically like little stories that you make, and it can be about whatever it is that you want it to be. Um, I I write down all the stuff. Like for example, um, before I go into making a reel, um, I 
create my content first on paper. I write down all the stuff that I will I feel that I I would need to know if I wasn't an ambassador of the product. Always think about what you were like before you started this journey. Mm-hmm. So what what that encourages you to do is it creates content that is informative to those that need to know what it is you do, uh, what are the products, how it is for you. Um, yeah, and, and not just that, but also the business side. So um, how does the business opportunity help us um, financial? Like what are the benefits that we gain from, from starting up this business journey with um, and, and, and stuff about the community. It's a whole bunch of stuff that you could create in terms of your content. Make 15 minute or uh, 15 second reels. And I find they've been powerful for me to attract customers and maybe even attract potential teamies. Even if they haven't, um, I noticed I, I did a reel, I think I had about 200 and something views on wow. this one reel whereas I did just a normal story with just a post up of like a fact or something about juice plus or one of the I, I wasn't getting as much views so the my my reels or my stories they were or my reels you know my reels they were actually uh, attracting a lot more people a lot more people were interacting with them a lot more people were um, dropping comments so so they are powerful mm. if you if you if you'd like to explore the possibilities of reels and what your target audience looks like and stuff like that i would suggest going over to youtube or even going to the reels itself and yeah. be inspired by some of the stuff that our network marketers are currently doing at the moment um they're, they're quite amazing actually it's, it's an amazing tool to use mm. um you don't need but to be an old uh, it took me about 10 15 minutes to learn how to how to be how to make a reel and you know you know we're going to make mistakes so are reels okay. are reels different to stories nah it's the same thing it's just um it's just used by different social media platforms so reels are stories but for instagram Okay. It has the same concept though, and the, the the algorithms behind both social media platforms are quite different. So currently, because of the COVID and stuff like that, a lot of people have done online marketing, online businesses, and so there, and and so Instagram itself has um they've come up with ways on how to. I guess boost the algorithm numbers for businesses but not only that apparently they've got like this um not giveaway but I would say promotion for people to do live live ones on Instagram apparently there's this thing where Instagram are giving money away to people that are doing lives I'm not sure about any of that so basically what I'm saying is that Instagram is what people are using for their professional businesses and for stuff like what we're, what we're up to. So um, at night, I don't just scroll aimlessly. I'm actually online uh, consuming content that I feel that might be beneficial for my own business. So that's another tip, I guess. Go out, jump on Instagram, check out the reels. Um, yeah, who knows? You might be a real guru. I might be talking to a, a Instagram real superstar. <laughs> So with the uh, yeah. when you say check out the reels, um, yeah. do you mean like you just check out other people's reels, or do yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, okay. Just so it gives you an idea about what it is, how it looks, and and some of the content and stuff like that that they produce. It's really clever, really cool, and it's quite refreshing. I like creating content that gives me happiness. <laughs> so, yeah. but it's a powerful way of using a fifteen second, you know human beings we've got a short attention span so um uh, um so check out the reels for 15 seconds they come up with some ingenious stuff and some stuff are quite useful and handy to know mm-hmm. so yeah, if you would search someone would you just like you go into someone and then you, how do you look at their reels ah, i see so 
um, on Instagram, just yeah. type in the keywords that you want. Say, for example, um, you want to see what other network online network marketers are up to. So type in yeah. the word network marketing or whatever it is. Something that inspires you. Food, have a look. It'll pop it up. Um, follow them and then have a look at the, the reels that they've created as content creators. Oh, and so if you go I into them. I suggest to go on to YouTube. If, if you're not familiar with the whole Instagram thing, um, even how to use it, I would say just have a look on YouTube, use some keywords like um, um, first time Instagram, like how do you use it, um, Instagram Reels, and just watch a few simple videos just to get you started, and then just jump into the world, <laughs> pretty much. Great. But hopefully okay. that was helpful. Yeah, no, that's cool. Um, I, I use Instagram, but I don't use it properly. Oh, you know, yeah. like I just, I'm less like a, oh yeah, here's Instagram, but I've never really yeah. sort of used it um, well. Would a you mind if I followed our, you? A lot of our, uh, a lot of our, um, sorry, a lot of our Juice Plus leaders are on Instagram, so I'll go mm -hmm. and find them, write their names yeah. down, and find them on Instagram and see how that they're doing Instagram for their business. I just started following a couple yesterday, actually, just to sort of, um, yeah, yeah. Um, to cool. get an idea. What's, and, what's your username, Uppy? So we can find you, so we can follow you. Oh, Aisha. It's just oh, Aisha. Sorry, Aisha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it's just my name, Aisha Maraku. Yeah. I haven't I'm still yet to I'm still yet to make those one I tend to do it on TikTok more than anything so I'm on TikTok as well so many isn't there yeah so many <laughs> but um yeah so so if there was any other questions ladies sorry we've gone over a little bit on the time it's all good we're in lockdown yeah <laughs> I'm still an essential worker, so I still got to go to work this morning. But yeah, oh, I've got to work, but just from home. Oh, lucky. <laughs> All right, ladies. All right, well, hey, thank you. That's us. We'll end our we'll end our session. You ladies, go and smash it today, and everybody else watching this at home. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, ladies. Bye.